Uh, Stevie Nichol uh, joins us as well. He's got a special jumper on. Uh, Stevie, you looked yeah. at this, and this could have been, what, Norwich Just Watford, you, couldn't it? Yeah, other than the fact that they had a Manchester United strip on, you wouldn't have known that it was Manchester United. Um, I, I, the thing I took from this game is that this side doesn't like each other. This is a side that the dressing room has to be broken up. The troublemakers have to get toughed out and you've got to bring good characters in because this is what a team that doesn't get on plays like. Nobody runs for each other. Nobody's backing anybody up. Nobody's running the extra yard for any reason at all. They're just all running around, just biding the time till the end of the season. This is... this. Listen, these are the these two sides are the worst. This is the worst Everton side and the worst Manchester United side that I can ever remember. But at least Everton had some fight and some spirit. This United side had nothing. They were going through the motions. It's easier said than done. Um, <laughs> said than done in it as we welcome in Jan Argofiotov because Jan. You know, you want to clear out. Obviously, you know, you've got a lot of dead weights here. As Stevie said, clearly not getting on. But who's going to buy these players? Well, that, I think that is a less concern for Manchester United. No, who do want to play for Manchester United is more, more a thing now. Because, I mean, I, I, I watched a lot of games today. And I think this Manchester United performance today, I wanted to look at the wall and see the paint dry. That was <laughs> unbelievable boring. And I, I think that... The thing as well is that the F Manchester United fans now are very optimistic if Ten Hag will come in. But the thing is, this is nothing about who will be the manager. Because non-manager can kind of get that, like Steve is saying, that dressing room going. There's a lot of talking about they have to renovate Old Trafford. They should start with a dressing room and renovate there. Because if you saw that today, mm -hmm. you saw sometimes you just, you have people fans, emotional fans, they say they don't want to do it, they don't want to run, they don't want to fight, they, don't, they have no will. But today we had to use all the cliches because if you saw Everton today, I mean, they wanted that win. They were desperate for that win. Now, there was some lack of quality in some areas, but still they fought for it. There was will all over the place. And when you look at the table of Manchester United, they're still in with a chance to be top four but when you saw that game, it was like this. They had a sign up say, we don't want to play in the Champions League next year, at least not for Manchester United. So this dream of a Ten Hag or a Pochettino, whoever, going to save them, forget it. This is management of big level. You have to get a big clearance, not even in the, all, all in the dressing room. If you look at the table now, they should be happy to, maybe to get in the Conference League. But Don, you look at the players within this, in this squad... And they're better than some of the past. You, you look, Jaden Sancho was so good for Borussia Dortmund last year. Marcus Rashford was one of the most exciting England prospects coming through the ranks. Paul Pogba's won a World Cup. We know what Ronaldo's done. We know what Bruno Fernandes did when he first arrived at United. Why has it gone so disastrously wrong? That's why, that's why I got laughed out of town a couple of weeks back when I sort of said Galacticos, but this, for the same reason for the players that you've just mentioned, you're expecting something. These are top-class players. You know, Ronaldo's in the conversation to be the best player that's ever played the game. That front four never got a kick today. Rashford, again, quiet. Jaden Sancho ripping the Bundesliga up last season, quiet. Bruno Fernandes today, he was trying passes, but they weren't coming off, quiet. There's just nothing about this side. It's almost, as I said before, if you're Ralph Ranić and you're bringing Ten Hag in in the summer, you'll be looking at this 11 saying, actually, how many do we actually keep on? There won't be many. So in terms of Ten Hag coming in and trying to get Man United to a top four or even a title, that's a million miles off. And if Man United are not careful, they might finish in sixth in a Europa League spot. They might finish in seventh, which would be worse in a conference spot. Then all of a sudden, can you imagine the amount of games Manchester United have got to play next season? It's just... It, it's just incredible watching them, how much they didn't want the game today. Jan's absolutely spot on. Before the game, surely Ralph Ranić must have delivered a team talk where he said, come on, let's win today. We give ourselves a chance. We can try and get some momentum going. Let's have a bit of fight. Let's show a bit of bottle. The one thing you want to do when you play Everton is you want to score the first goal. And you score the first goal against Everton, Everton crumble every single time. The first goal in this game was going to be crucial. And then Everton showed willingness, they showed spirit, they wanted to hang on, because it meant something to them. It doesn't mean much, too much to these Man United players. It's almost like, oh, we've lost again, there's another game next week, we'll try and win that one. 
We'll see how it goes. Uh, let's talk specific. Let's, so, talk, let's talk about individuals, Jan. We mentioned Jaden Sancho. Obviously, you saw him for Borussia Dortmund last season. He's not a £10 million player from what we've seen so far at Old Trafford, let alone £100 million. Why? Why isn't he stepping up? Why aren't we seeing what we saw in the Bundesliga? Well, he is far from it. I mean, as anybody else, I will guess that Jaden Sancho is a lot of, like, young kids, when you get into a get into a team, you need a team to give you confidence and all that. And he is not a leader on the pitch. He need to be be taken, he need to be showed, he need to be a, a part of a team as he was in Dortmund. He is far away from it. Uh, but I'm, I'm more worried about the likes of Rashford because if you, and it has nothing to do with him as a person, this is just about him as a player. What, what happened to a player that's been in Manchester United for so long, developing, he looked like a great lad on a off the pitch and suddenly you can't play football anymore i mean a cristiano ronaldo you can say you the defense lawyer for cristiano ronaldo will say well he's old okay yeah okay that's fair but rashford what's going on there or what is going on with these players that we used to see as some of the most promising youngsters coming up and they stopped up that has to go back to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, that has to be back to Ralf Ragnick. But I think that sometimes it's also go back to the individual players. Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.